midday prayer for the 21st of March, the commemoration of Thomas Cranmer. Thomas Cranmer was a leader of the English Reformation and Archbishop of Canterbury during the reigns of Henry VIII, Edward VI and for a short time Mary I. He helped to build the case for the annulment of Henry's marriage to Catherine of Aragon, which was one of the causes of the separation of the English Church from union with Rome. During Cranmer's tenure as Archbishop of Canterbury, he was responsible for establishing lots of liturgical changes and structures. Under Henry's rule, he didn't make many radical changes, but when Edward came to the throne, Cranmer wrote and compiled the first two editions of the Book of Common Prayer, and with the assistance of several reformers from continental Europe, he changed doctrine and discipline in areas such as the Eucharist, clerical celibacy, the role of images in places of worship. He also put forward new doctrines through the prayer book and other publications. When Queen Mary came to the throne, Cranmer was put on trial for treason and heresy. He was imprisoned for over two years. He made several recantations and apparently reconciled himself with the Roman Church. However, Mary wanted him executed and on the day of his execution, he withdrew his recantations. He died on this day in the year 1556 at Oxford. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear to my cry. Hold not your peace at my tears. Psalm 61 Hear my crying, O God, and listen to my prayer. From the end of the earth I call to you with fainting heart. O set me on the rock that is higher than I. For you are my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. Let me dwell in your tent forever and take refuge under the cover of your wings. For you, O God, will hear my vows. You will grant the request of those who fear your name. You will add length of days to the life of the king, that his years may endure throughout all generations. May he sit enthroned before God forever. May steadfast love and truth watch over him. So will I always sing praise to your name and day by day fulfil my vows. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. Jesus said, Whoever does not carry the cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. For which of you, intending to build a tower, does not first sit down and estimate the cost to see whether he's enough to complete it? Otherwise, when he's laid a foundation and is not able to finish, all who see it will begin to ridicule him, saying, This fellow began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king, when he is estimating whether to wage war against another, will not first sit down and consider whether he is able with 10,000 to oppose the one who comes against him with 20,000. If he cannot then, while the other is still far off, he sends a delegation and asks for terms of peace. So therefore... None of you can become my disciple if you are not willing to give up your possessions. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, as we remember those who have given their lives in the defence of the gospel, on this day as we give thanks for the life of Thomas Cramner, so we pray for all those who put their lives on the line in this our generation. 
believers or otherwise. We thank you for them. Remembering our medical and nursing staff in our hospitals and clinics, those who are caring for those who are sick or suffering, for those in our care homes who are nursing the vulnerable and elderly. And we pray for ourselves and all whom we love. For those from whom we are separated by distance and by circumstances beyond our control. May they and we know that we are your beloved children. We pray for our church leaders and all who are preparing for worship tomorrow. And we pray that we may continue to be faithful in our calling as members of your family. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father of all mercies, who through the work of your servant Thomas Cramner renewed the worship of your church and through his death revealed your strength in human weakness, by your grace strengthen us to worship you in spirit and truth and so come to the joys of your everlasting kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Redeemer and Advocate. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May God bless us and show us compassion and mercy. Amen.